I'm a consultant and I'm a lesbian. In this video, I'm going to talk about what it's like being LGBTQ plus in consulting. You might be thinking that consulting is still stuck in the 1990s of posh white boys. Well, I'm here to show you that the face of consulting is changing. So this video is for anyone who feels that they would be underrepresented in consulting because I want to show you that there is a place for everyone. So let me tell you a bit about me. I've been with my partner for three and a half years and we actually met through work and to make it a little bit more complicated, she's on the client side. Now throughout this video, I will reference my employer, but big caveat, all views are my own. I'm not speaking on behalf of the firm, I'm speaking from the heart. So take what you like from this video. Before I started at Accenture, I wasn't out to anyone, even myself, if I'm honest. So it was a really big thing to go through realizing who you really are, coming out to yourself first and foremost, meeting a partner, coming out to your family, coming out to your friends and the people around you, to your employer, and because it's a little bit more tricky when your partner is on the client side, you have to declare it and declare no conflict of interest. So I had to come out to the client as well. Now, in retrospect, I'm glad it worked out this way because it forced me out of the closet. And although it felt really uncomfortable at the time, actually it got the whole thing of just being who I really am out of the way. And I'm grateful for that in retrospect. But what I want to do in this video is share with you some of the things I was worried about and how it really panned out to prove to you that consulting is changing and it's becoming a much more inclusive and diverse place. So what was I worried about? Well, my partner and I made it official after only six months of me being in Accenture. And I was really nervous that I was new to the company. I was still building my reputation. Would the people around me think of me differently? Would they think less of me? Would this impact my chances of promotion? I loved my role. I loved my project. I didn't want to leave, but I also didn't want to not be with my partner. It was a very confusing time. The specific challenge to consulting is, in industry, if you come out to your colleagues, then you just have to come out once. But when you work in consulting, you have clients. And so you have to come out to your clients as well. And it's unlikely that you'll work with just one client for your whole career. So you have to come out multiple times and this can feel really uncomfortable, especially if you have a bad experience or if you get anxious that you're going to have a bad experience. Now, of course, you don't have to come out. No one forces you to. But let's be honest. Can you really do your best work? Can you really be at your happiest if you are not able to bring your true, authentic self to work? And if you're hiding a big part of you, like your life partner, then you're living this dual life and take it from me, it's not sustainable. Now we're very fortunate in Accenture, we have a fantastic pride network and we also have a great LGBTQ plus ally program. This is where we help to kind of educate our colleagues on some of the specific challenges that LGBTQ plus people experience and how to be supportive so that everyone can just be themselves with no need to worry. I know other employers also do this. And if you'd like to share what your employer does, then please drop it in the comments. And as you're there, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. So that's what I was worried about, but what really happened? Well, it turns out this was all a bit of an anticlimax. I checked the HR policy and I followed it to the letter. And it turns out I didn't need to tell as many people as I thought I did. So I spent a little bit of time kind of hiding in, semi hiding in the closet. I had one foot out of the closet, but we weren't quite fully out. The irony is I thought that nobody knew that my partner and I were together. Turns out we were the only people that didn't know that everyone knew. So this big coming out that I was worried about had happened without me even realizing it. And that is the really positive thing. I had no idea that everyone knew. 
and I had no idea that everyone knew because they didn't treat me any differently at all. It didn't affect my project. I wasn't asked to roll off because there was no conflict of interest. So we could have the best of all worlds. In fact, only six months after that, I landed a double promotion. So if ever you needed evidence that coming out at work does not affect your chances of promotion, at least in Accenture, then there it is. And I remember the day when I found out that everyone knew and I was the only one that didn't know that they all knew. Because I was actually out in India visiting our offshore team and someone said, oh, how does Louise feel about you being out here for 10 days? I didn't know what to say. And it, and my first thought was, how, how do you know? And then someone pulled me to the side and was like, Charlie, everyone knows. How do you not know that everyone knows? And at that point, the light bulb went on. Lou and I had a great laugh about it. And we realised that there was nothing to worry about. Now, I recognise that I'm in a fortunate position. Um, I have a fantastic employer. I'm surrounded by, by great people and not everyone is as, is as lucky as this. But what I would say is that um, consulting in particular is an industry that is changing its inclusivity and diversity quicker than anywhere else, in my opinion. Because we work with such a diverse range of clients, with such a diverse range of opinions, we need diverse consultants to be able to provide that innovative thought leadership, innovative, um, quirky perspectives that set us apart and is the reason that clients hire us in the first place. So I would say if there's anywhere to be gay or LGBTQ+, plus whatever you identify as, consulting is a great one because consulting needs diversity for the, that industry itself to continue. And I think that more employers than ever before are recognising that. So are there some heteronormative posh boys in consulting? Yeah, there are. But there's also some lesbians and some gay men and some bisexual people and some transgender people and some non-binary people and some queer people. The sum of everybody is my point. And therefore, if you're watching this thinking, I couldn't be in consulting, I wouldn't fit, then I want you to take from this video that there is a place for you. There is a place for everybody in consulting. And it's now more than ever before. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you feel comfortable sharing your experience in the comments, I welcome you to do so. Please be respectful and mindful as you do. Please give it a like and of course subscribe to the channel. We're going to be focusing more on the consulting content. Again, I am still running my fintech startup network. Check us out, link in the description. But we're going to focus this channel a bit more on consulting right now. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.